Hello! In this video tutorial, we will correct the skin color in an unusual way. We will use the Color Chart Matching Tool. Here is the photo. For the lighting, I use two long light sources with the same color temperature, one above the camera and one below. But after the shot, I found that the lower light source had a greenish tint, which is visible in the shadows, on the neck, on the cheek, and on the forehead. The color on the lit side of the face looks good. In this case, the use of global corrections such as white balance, for example, will improve the shadows, but it will worsen the lights. Shadows become less green and the lights become too red. Let's find these colors on the color grid. The skin tones I like are here. The skin areas with the greenish tint are to the left. It's easy to fix them in 3D LUT Creator. You need to rotate one of the rays on the grid. And now the skin color has become even. All of you probably know this method, so in this video I will show a different one. I will use the function for working with color targets. Let me remind you that they are available only in the Pro version of the program. As you can see, there is no color target in the frame. Instead of a color target, I will select color watches in this drop-down list. To see watches palette, you can press F12. Now it's empty. I will use the matrix method. Let me remind you that this method adjusts the channel mixer so that the original colors come as close as possible to the reference colors. Now we need the colors themselves. Since I want the white balance to remain unchanged, I add a few neutral shades. I will add neutral colors from the gray circle instead of searching for them in the photo. It is very useful because sometimes the picture may not have neutrals at all. If you right-click on the color circle and drag down, it will lose its saturation. Now I pick up the dropper and pick the colors I need. I'll pick each color twice, white and gray. As you can see, the colors are added to the palette. Why did I take the colors twice? One color will be the original color and the other will be the reference color. To assign a reference color, you need to click on this letter L, which stands for local color, and it becomes a global color and goes to the right column. I will do the same with the second color. So now I have two color pairs, white and gray. They will specify to the matching function that the white balance should not be changed. That is, the gray should remain gray. The color circle is no longer needed. Now I pick up the colors from the photo. I take the greenish shade from the neck and find the color that I'd like to see there. It is desirable that the brightness of the reference color should be the same as the brightness of the original color. You can check the brightness using this gradient. Let's see what brightness the original color has. It is here. Now I will look for a color of the same brightness, but with the color that suits me. For example, I take this one. Also, I switch it to the global colors. And now, I'll take the color of the skin that should not change. I add it twice and switch the second one to the global mode. There is the color of the lips, which I also do not want to change. So I'll take it twice and again, I make a couple of the same colors. So we have two neutral patches, two colored patches with colors that I do not want to change and the color that I want to fix. I turn on the Color Chart Grid tool. Color watches are already selected here. The matrix mode was also set. Now I press the Match button. Here's what I get. The program has constructed a color matrix that tries to match the colors of the left column to the colors of the right column. These are the original colors. These are what they have become. And these are the colors that they should be. The greenish skin tint has become brown that is, the skin tone was evened, but the effect is too strong. Let's adjust it. For example, you can reduce the effect of lightning. Or the effect of darkening. If I move the darken slider to the left, the lips become a more natural color. So I leave it. Here is the image before, and there is the after. As you can see, the shadows became lighter, 
so we can go to the Masters section and reduce the effect of the luminance component. This is the before. That is the after. The skin tone has become much more uniform. Let's now see how much a correction affects the other colors. To do this, I will open the color circle. I return the saturation back. Here we see that the entire green part of the spectrum is repainted in orange. If you have green colors somewhere that you want to keep, then you can build a mask. There is a separate lesson about it on the channel. That's all. I hope this lesson was interesting to you. Now it is your turn to experiment. See you in the next video.